Hey guys and welcome back to a new recipe video. Today we're making things that can be taken to a picnic but don't have to be taken to a picnic. So yeah, you can easily make these ideas all year round. Recipe number one is going to be a super yummy cauliflower pasta salad. It's super creamy while still being nut free. First of all, prep the cauliflower. Preheat the oven, then cut the cauliflower into florets. Add it to a bowl, mixing in a little bit of olive oil and spices of your choice. Plus two to three whole unpeeled garlic cloves. Roast all this on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper for about 32 minutes, mixing it halfway through. Meanwhile, chop up one to two onions and some cremini mushrooms. Saute the onion first for a few minutes on medium high in a teaspoon of oil and then add the mushrooms, letting everything cook for another eight minutes or so. In the meantime, cook up some shortcut pasta of your choice. Season the onion and mushrooms to taste. By now, the cauliflower should be done. To the blender, add about half of the roasted cauliflower, two to three tablespoons of the pan-fried onions and mushrooms, the juice of a lemon, white wine vinegar, non-dairy milk, and barbecue sauce. Also add a bit of pasta water or just regular water for it to blend more easily. Mix the sauce and the pasta together. Add the rest of the onions, mushrooms, and cauliflower. Serve it with fresh arugula or spinach if you can bring the greens separately um, and then just add them before serving. These chocolate buns we're making next are heaven. They remind me so much of elementary school. To a small saucepan, add non-dairy milk and vegan butter. Let it both melt together on medium heat. Pour this liquid into a mixing bowl, adding raw sugar and letting it cool off until it's lukewarm. Then add active dry yeast and let it sit for about 10 minutes while you A. Combine the dry ingredients, which would be salt and spelt flour, and B. Drain a can of chickpeas and measure out half a cup of their liquid. Now add vanilla to the yeast mix plus the chickpea water. Pour the wet ingredients into the dry and mix it all up. It's best to use a spoon or spatula first and then switch to your hands. Then add the chocolate chips. Need for about two to three minutes. Place the dough back into the bowl, cover it up with a dish towel, and um, move it someplace warm, like next to a sunny window, and um, let it rise there for 30 minutes to an hour. Knead the dough again for a minute or so, and then cut it into 16 somewhat equally sized pieces. Form each one into a little bun and place them next to each other on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Let the buns rise once again for another 30 minutes. It's okay if they kind of grow into each other. In fact, that's encouraged. Meanwhile, preheat your oven. And then right before baking them, brush each one with a bit of non-dairy milk. Okay, now into the oven they go. And that's it. You can serve them warm or cold. They taste like little chocolate brioche buns.
what screams picnic more than a quiche? This next idea vaguely resembles one. It's a crossover between a quiche, a pizza, and a muffin. I really channeled my inner Pinterest mom for this one. To make the filling, just blend up the following things in a blender or food processor. One block of firm, plain, basic tofu. One block of silken tofu. Drain the water that's in the packaging before adding it. One in a teaspoon of oil sautéed onion. Quite a bit of white wine vinegar. Nutritional yeast. Cornstarch. Coconut oil. A teaspoon of olive oil. Salt. Pepper. Season to taste. Be warned, this is not gonna taste good unbaked, but just see if salt is missing or lemon juice or vinegar. The silken tofu is naturally sweet for some reason, so you really have to balance out that sweetness for it to taste good in the end. Now preheat the oven and also grease a muffin tin. For the base, I used a shortcut, aka store-bought pizza dough. I have a pizza dough recipe on my channel, so I'll link that down below if you want to make everything from scratch. But using store-bought here really makes a difference and will make your life so much easier. Roll out the dough and cut it into 12 pieces. The one I bought is great because it naturally has this square shape to it, which fits perfectly into the muffin tins. Alternatively, you could try using puff pastry or unsweetened vegan pie crust if you try it. Let me know! Add a tablespoon of basic marinara sauce to the bottom of each mold and then fill them up almost all the way with the filling. Here's where you can add toppings if you like, mushrooms, tomatoes, vegan pizza cheese if you can find it, spinach, leek and mushrooms to make this more quiche-like, pieces of smoked tofu, options are endless. Bake the muffins for 25 to 30 minutes. After 20-22 minutes, if you feel like the tops are getting a bit too much color, then put some aluminum foil on top. Let them cool off for at least 30 minutes before trying to remove them from the pan. And that's it. This week I actually hosted my first ever vegan potluck meetup in Berlin. It was super fun. I can't believe this many people came. And a dog! If you're planning on having a vegan picnic yourself, here's a list of some more ideas food items, things that people can bring, pancakes or waffles. I'll have recipes for both in the description. Banana bread, two girls brought extremely yummy banana bread to the picnic. Fruits, obviously, or any type of fruit salad. Energy bites and bars. Any type of crunchy and salty vegan snacks, chips and crackers, just any type of salty things to dip things, other things in. Drinks is something you might not think of immediately. One person brought oat milk and coffee, which was super smart. Another person brought cinnamon apples, so good. Two people brought pesto pinwheels. Um, we had so many different kinds of cookies. But yeah, this is not gonna be the last meetup I'm hosting. I wanna do the next one in September. And I'll announce these things on my Instagram, so make sure to follow me over there. I also plan on doing these in other cities, not just in Berlin, so keep a lookout for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you soon, bye!